Okay, so let's now find the derivative of the cosecant function. Well, the cosecant of x is defined as the reciprocal of the sine of x. So it follows then to find the derivative, we would use the reciprocal rule. And in a previous video, we derived and proved the reciprocal rule as f prime of x, the derivative of f of x, is equal to negative of g prime of x divided by g squared of x, where the function f of x can be expressed as 1 over g of x. So in this case, g of x is equal to sine of x, because the cosecant of x is 1 over the sine of x. So g prime of x we know is equal to the cosine of x. So now we just plug and chug. So it follows that f prime of x is equal to negative cosine of x divided by the sine squared of x. Now I'm not finished yet because I can express this as minus 1 over the sine of x by cosine of x over the sine of x. 1 over the sine of x is what we started with, which is the cosecant of x. Cosine over sine is the cotangent. It's the cotangent function. So it's the cotangent of x, and we have the negative out in front. So therefore, the derivative of the cosecant function the derivative of the cosecant of x is equal to negative of the cosecant of x by the cotangent of x. Let's have a look at this result graphically. Okay, so here I've plotted the function cosecant of x with Desmos graphing calculator. And you can try this yourself at this address. It's a great tool, check it out. And as you can see, it has vertical asymptotes at every integer multiple of pi. For comparison, let's plot the function sine of x. So in this dashed purple curve, we've got the function sine of x. Cosec being the inverse of sine of x, when we get close to any value of pi, we get closer and closer to division by zero, and hence we have these vertical asymptotes to negative and positive infinity. So I'm going to switch off sine of x and switch on the derivative, which is negative of the cosecant by the cotangent of x, and that's plotted in green. Okay, so the green curve being the derivative of the red curve, we would expect it to describe the slope. So let's say, for example, at this point here, I'd expect the slope at this point to be zero, and of course the green curve is at the value of zero. And if we now follow this red curve to the right, we would expect the slope to rapidly increase, which of course it does. Uh, if we approach from the left, the slope begins as being sharply negative, which it is, and gradually becomes less and less negative until we hit the point where it becomes zero. So this little exercise just gives me a visual confirmation of the derivative of the cosecant of x. Okay, that'll conclude this video. If you have any questions, Feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Check out all of the playlists and videos I have on this channel to help you with your studies. Till next time, good luck. I'll see you on the next video.